We spend an extraordinary amount of money, you know, on the consequences of violence and too little on the promotion of peace. And, you know, the cost of these weapon systems, which we believe in this part of the world keep the peace, is extraordinary. And just a fraction of the money we spend on that, devoted to peacefulness and building peaceful societies, would be a very significant financial contribution. I spend a lot of my time working on issues of political leadership and decision making. And, and I believe that before we go around the world telling other people how they should live, we should look at the way in which we live. So we should invest more in looking at ourselves and seeing how other people see us. We've just you know, listened to people talking about the effect that an American abroad who goes and lives in a community as a Peace Corps volunteer can have in building relationships. You know, this is to the advantage of the view of America totally. But that's not everybody's view of America. People have a perception of America and it's important to understand that and it's important to get beyond that. So, you know, I mean, I know from living here for a short period of time the great work that America does and how generous it is as a nation, you know, and how much love that is throughout the world, but that's not the same for everybody. So, I mean, I just think that this country, which I have adopted in the sense that I live here at the moment, you know, needs to play to its strengths, and its strengths are its generosity, its strengths are its ability to be able to put tens of thousands of Peace Corps volunteers out there. It's the sort of people I meet every day and I work with, and not the America that they think they know, which is America that kind of threatens them to behave.